guys, welcome back to Cookie Good Pam's Place. I'm Chef Pam and we're getting ready to make rich, creamy beef tips and gravy with a twist because we're making it fajita style. Oh my goodness. And if you want to learn how to make all kind of homemade food and dishes, easy, simple, made from scratch, take a second and subscribe to the channel. Tap that notification bell, make sure it's set to all, and just keep hanging around because I have a whole channel full of recipes that'll get you there. Let's get busy. Guys, let's go over our ingredients. Here we have the star of the dish, our beef. Now I am using stewed meat, but you can use any kind of beef you want. And if you do choose beef, you can also use chicken, turkey, any protein that you want in this recipe. If you use beef, make sure it has some marbling in it. Don't use a beef that's so lean it doesn't have any marbling because when we get it simmered in that gravy, oh my goodness, this is going to break down. It's going to be like butter. Mm -mm. We're having a rainbow of bell peppers and a red onion. We've got our beef broth and we also have garlic powder, onion powder, cumin, chili powder, turmeric, and this is a little oregano powder. I have actually just ground down my oregano. If you don't have oregano powder, just feel free to use a little oregano. Okay, let's go ahead and get this all prepped up and ready to go. veggies are cut up we're going to go in and get our meat seasoned up so that we can sear it off just add all your seasonings in here that was cumin and turmeric we've got chili powder our oregano okay onion powder and garlic powder we're adding in some black pepper and guys as always these ingredients and exact measurements will be in the description. Add a little sea salt in there, actually that's Himalayan salt, and rub it together. Now if you have quite a bit, make sure you cook your meat in batches. You want it to sear and not steam. Make sure this is rubbed together. We're gonna let this sit like this for about 10 or 15 minutes, and then we're gonna go ahead and get it seared up. As you can see, our skillet is nice and hot. You can see the steam. I'm going to be using some ghee, but you can use any cooking oil that you want. We just need a couple of spoonfuls in here, but you want to make sure your skillet is good and hot because we want to get this seared. Go ahead, add your meat in. While this is searing, we're going to go ahead and get our vegetables cooked up. Doesn't that look amazing? And it smells delicious. We're gonna add in another spoon of ghee. Make sure you scrape up the bits off the bottom. 
can add in your flour. Now we want this to be extra thick gravy, so it'll hold up on our fajitas. I'm gonna cook this flour out for about a minute. Okay, our flour has cooked to a nice, dark, rich color. And that's what we want. Okay, it smells amazing. So now we're going to go in with our beef broth. Continue to stir. Now we're going to go in with a little heavy cream. Give it that rich, thick creaminess that we're looking for. Stir that in well, and we're also going to add in about, oh, two tablespoons of butter. Mm -mm. Now let this butter melt. Once the butter melts, we're going to be ready to add in our beef. Okay, we're going to add back in our meat and all the juice from the bowl. I'm gonna let this simmer for about 10 or 15 minutes and we're gonna prepare our flour tortillas. Okay, so let's heat up our flour tortillas. We're going to add a half a tablespoon of butter and we're just gonna go ahead and get these toasted up. Let it cook on one side. Once it starts to puff up like this, you can go ahead and flip it. It should be nice and brown on the other side. Nice and brown on both sides. Go ahead, take it out and get the rest of yours done. So our meat has simmered and as you can see, the gravy has cooked down. It is nice, rich, and thick. Oh my goodness, guys. Mm, mm, mm. Guys, tell me what your favorite ingredients are on a fajita. You know, you can put a lot of different things on there. Let me know down in the comments. Okay, so we are now plating. And guys, if you got anything out of this video and you enjoyed it, do me a favor and share it out. I really would appreciate it. I also thank each and every one of you all for coming and hanging out with me in my kitchen today. I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. I really do. Oh my goodness, if you all could just smell this. Now, let's not forget about our roasted veggies. We're gonna add those right on top, guys. Right on top. These are looking amazing. Amazing, amazing. Yes. Mm, 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 mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. Yes. Thank you all so much for coming and hanging out with me. I know I just said that, but I really do appreciate each and every one of you guys. And I will see you next time. The good Lord willing and the creek don't rise.